What's up, my friend? Welcome to this edition of Teachable Tuesday. DK here with you. And what we're going to dive into today, I'm going to give you three specific things that you could be doing and just to really be aware of in order to increase your sales, increase your business and increase your overall results that you are getting not only in your business, but in life as well. These are things that I've been applying for years and it can make a very, very positive impact if you apply it and most importantly, you stay consistent with it. So we're gonna dive right in. We're gonna flow through this information. So pay attention and please do yourself a favor, have a notepad ready because I'm gonna give you a lot of nuggets, as many nuggets as I can in the shortest amount of time. So get ready to learn. Make sure you rule out all distractions. Don't just watch this on a whim. Really sit down as if you were participating live and make sure that you are ready to take notes, pay attention and get the most out of this training. So here we go. So in tonight's training, guys, I'm gonna give you three specific things, okay? We're gonna talk about, first, we're gonna talk about mindset, okay? Very, very, very important. We're gonna talk about mindset. We're gonna talk about routine because if you don't have a routine, chances are, well, not chances are, I can guarantee you that you're not getting the results that you want if you don't have a solid routine. That's a non-debatable right there. And I'm gonna give you guys some tips that you guys could do to help overall your impact, your thought process, your results, all of those things. Something that I've been doing for years and it's just really helped me remember some very key things when it comes to my business and more importantly, when it comes to personal development. So we're gonna go over some mindset, things you need to know. We're gonna go over a routine process and also I'm gonna give you guys some tips that you guys can start applying today. So my friends, here we go. So I'm sure you're watching this replay over on the YouTube channel. As always, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, ring the bell, get notified anytime we're posting new content, which is literally every single week, guys. So, hey, make sure that you do that, right? Now, down below this video in the show notes below is this document. You guys can grab this, okay? But I want you to focus in on something very, very important. I want you to remember this line. I want you to write this down. The serious folks that are watching this will write this down, okay? Work harder on yourself than you do on your business. And I know I've covered this. We've covered this in Mindset Mondays. We've covered this in other Teachable Tuesdays and Focus Fridays and whatnot. But you've got to, like, you have to commit to this. You have to be focused and deliberately working on yourself every single day. Because if you are not, it's not a matter of if, my friend. It's a matter of when I can guarantee you at some point you're going to give up and quit and it's not the business that failed you it's not dk that failed you it's not kirstie your bill or the funnel team or savings highway that failed you it is you that failed you you gave up you quit you inserted the excuses because and this is the key takeaway from this point right here you just don't want it bad enough therefore you insert the excuses and you verify and validate that you're right. Well, congratulations, way to go. Now what, back to your job, back to the wishing things were better? The only way to fail, my friend, is to quit. If you work harder on you and you are disciplined with this, all of those little obstacles that you face, people aren't going to my link, I don't have enough views on my videos. This isn't working. I'm not making sales. All of those excuses that you could possibly come up with, all of those, you have to, this is so, 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 so important. One of the most important parts of tonight's training right now in your face, okay? If you work harder on you, all of those excuses will slowly start to dissipate and fade away. And that's the truth. I can tell you from experience, I've been through incredible tragedies in my life. Okay, incredible tragedies. I'm not gonna get into it in this video. Some of you guys know my story. And there's always a way to push past. There's always a way to push through if you want it bad enough. Simple as that. So in this document here, guys, is just some ideas. So real quick, let's talk about the 80-20 rule, okay? 80% of your time, you know, as you're working your business throughout the day, throughout the week, the month, whatever, you're focusing on IPAs, right? Income producing activities, not IPA beer, although we like beer, right? But IPA, income producing activities, okay? 
That's what you should be doing the majority of the time. But the other 20%, you need to be focused on you. Dedicate time on a day-to-day -day basis where you are working on you. And I'm gonna give you some, as we go through tonight's training, I'm gonna give you guys some tips, some ideas of things that you can do to figure out when you're gonna do this, how you're gonna do this, what this looks like for you, because what it looks like for me isn't gonna be what it looks like for you because my schedule, my situation, my environment is different from yours. Everybody's environment is different from one another's. So only you can figure this out, okay? But I can give you the ideas, I can give you the tips, I can give you maybe some some nuggets, some aha moments that you could take and apply and make it your thing, all right? Now, 80-20 rule, okay? So just what I talked about here, 80% of your main time focused on income producing activities. Now this isn't 80% of your entire day, this is just when you work in your business. So while you're working your business, 80% of that business time should be income producing activities making content, replying to comments, driving traffic to your link, that type of stuff. The 20% is when you're 20% of your business time is when you're focused on you. Okay. And it's 100% okay during business time. And we're going to get into business time a little later. We're going to talk about how this all works in your day to day life, your business time, you are maybe reading books, listening to personal development, journaling, whatever it is doing things to help improve your mindset and your attitude. Now, just some suggestions here. Okay, these are suggestions, they're not written stone, they're not guaranteed, whatever it is, but this is some really key things. These are some books right here. I've read every single one of these books. Every single one of these books has had a positive impact on me, okay? Chances are, I'm willing to bet, they will have a positive impact on you. How to Win Friends and Influence People, Dale Carnegie, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Robert Kiyosaki, You Are a Badass, Jen Sincero, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, T. Harv Ecker, Four Hour Work Week, Tim Ferriss. I have most of these books behind me here, okay? Um, Compound Effect, Darren Hardy, uh, Subtle Art of Not Giving Enough, Mark Manson, and The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace D. Waddles. Now, I could tell you that from experience, The Science of Getting Rich, this one right here, this is the foundation of all personal development books because in almost every single one of these books, they all reference The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace Waddles. Almost every one of them references that book or they reference a section or a quote or a phrase from that book. So that is the foundation. Now, I will tell you, you know, a little warning. <laughs> okay. The, as you, if you listen to the audio, which you, almost all of these books, guys, almost every single one of these books, you can go to YouTube and go listen to the audio. And most of them will be narrated by the author themselves, which is really great, but you can go buy the books. I'm a, I'm a book guy. I like to have the physical book in my hand, but occasionally I'll also listen to the audio. Sometimes I'll listen to the audio as I'm reading the book, which is kind of cool. But you guys can go grab this stuff, all right, without having to spend a ton of money. But this is going to help you. Now, you got to realize that the science of getting rich, it's a little quirky. It's a little weird. It's a little odd as you start going through it. There's a lot of terminology in there. And the craziest part is this book right here was written in the early 1900s, the very early 1900s. I don't know the exact date, but it's around maybe 1920 or 1930 or so. So there's some weird terminology in there. There's some stuff that we're not used to listening to and hearing on a day-to-day -day basis. But once you kind of push through that, for me, I'll give you an example. I listened to the audio multiple, multiple, multiple times. The first time I thought it was cheesy. The second time I thought it was a little weird, but it made a little more sense. The third, fourth, and fifth time is when I really started to get it. Once you start to get it, the light bulbs will start to go off. Things will start to make more sense. So little foundation for you right there. Now, you can also grab a lot of these things on either iTunes, audiobooks, uh, podcast, stuff like that. Let me get rid of this one right here. Although, you know what? This is actually a really good podcast. If you're into podcasts, uh, The List Building Lifestyle by Igor Kafitz is a really great podcast. I used to listen to that years ago. 
Um, talks mainly about email marketing, but the concepts are all there. They talk about a lot of really great concepts, okay? Daily affirmations, also really, really important. And this could also be saying af daily affirmations, and I'm gonna put and or, okay? Journaling, all right? So those could be the same things. You could say daily affirmations, you could write them down, but those are also really, really good to do. And again, just keeping it real, just being honest with you, back when I first got started, I thought affirmations were cheesy because it's just something that you're not used to doing. But the more you do them, the more real they become. And I can honestly tell you with facts and data is that a lot of the things that I affirmed came true. So they also work if you believe in them. Now, one thing that's really, really important with affirmations, with journaling, with anything that you do is to be specific. I have that highlighted right here. Be specific. As specific and you can when, as, as you can when it comes to goal setting, when it comes to affirmation. You can't just sit there and affirm and say, I want to make a lot of money. That's not going to get you anywhere. However, if you are specific and say, I want to make $12,500 per month by the end of 2024, that is specific. That is something you can affirm. That is something you can start to manifest versus just saying, I want to make a ton of money. If you want the universe to deliver you something, number one, you have to ask for it. Number two, you have to be specific. That's another major nugget right there. If you got that, hopefully you're writing that down. Now, also very, very important. I can't show you because it's on the wall behind you. Um, a vision board. Having a vision board is also really cool. Taking all of your wants, your desires, your whatever it is that you are affirming, whatever it is, the goals that you are reaching towards. And this is an important nugget. Maybe write this down. Maybe put some thought into this. You should all have goals. We've talked about goal setting multiple, multiple times here on the funnel team. But goals are critical because here it is, the truth. If you don't know what you're reaching for, how could you ever expect to achieve it? I've had a lot of people have some aha moments when I shared that with them because they're running around saying, I'm not getting sales. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know, you know, ah, I'm frustrated. I'm like, well, what are your goals? Well, what do you mean? I don't have goals. Well, what are you reaching for? What are you trying to accomplish? Well, I'm not sure. Oh, how do you expect to achieve anything? If you don't have those goals written down, if you don't even know what you're reaching for, how can you expect to achieve it? Okay. Now, creating a vision board can help you with that by having some goals on your vision board. So right here, you know, you can create a vision of what you want in your life, present and future. Okay. It can be right now, what you want right now. Also what you want in the future, whether it be, you know, six months, a year, five years, 10 years from now. Okay and put it in a place where you can see it daily. I've always, in the past years, I've always had my vision board in front of me on a wall. So that way, when I'm sitting at my desk, I can always see it right in front of me. Occasionally it's been on the side, but usually it's somewhere in plain sight when I'm working my business, okay? So here's some mindset tips for you. Again, document in the description down below. Go ahead and grab that, use this for reference if you need to, you do not need to request access to this document. So please don't do that. All you gotta do is go up here to where it says file, and then you go right here to where it says make a copy, and then you could make your own copy, save it on your own computer and edit it all you want. Simple as that. So that is the first part. Now we're gonna dive into daily routine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you an example of my daily routine. Now, please keep in mind, my daily routine is not going to be your daily routine because I'm me and you're not me. I'm not you. So you need to figure out what your daily routine is and go make it yours. But I'm going to first give you an example of mine. Then what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a way that you can start this process. And then over time, you can fine tune this process. So as an example, okay, 
This is my daily routine right here. This is what I do each and every day. And as you're watching this video, I am right in this window right here. So I'll give you a quick example. I'll walk you through what this looks like. And I do this every single day, okay? So 7.30 to nine is personal development. I'm listening to personal development audios, Jim Rohn, Earl Nightingale, and so on. And I always have that playing in the background while I'm going through the next steps, okay? So every single day I review my stats. I go through email open rates, click-through rates, all those sort of things. I look at my sales. I see who joined yesterday. I place people. I do all the things I need to do business-wise, okay? I do those first. Take 30 minutes to do that, okay? Then from eight to nine, okay, I write and send and queue up all of my emails. So team emails for all the funnel team. I have multiple different lists that I send emails to, okay? So I'm writing multiple different emails. I, that takes me about an hour, sometimes a little bit less, okay? So that's that. Now, what we're doing right now is we are in the creating and editing content phase. So at the time of this video, it is 9.15 a.m. And I'm in that process. So I'm recording this video, then I'm gonna edit this video, then I'm gonna post this video, then I'm gonna send this out to you. Simple as that, right? And after that, I commit to myself going live every single day on TikTok once a week on YouTube. And then obviously once a week or sometimes multiple times per week in our funnel team Facebook group. So again, having that all there. Now, the next thing I do once that's done, okay, so this is typically around noon is once my lives are done, once all my stuff is checked off, then I schedule and plan for tomorrow. I have my notebook right here. I literally turn around everything I want to achieve tomorrow. Not only do I have it down here on this document, but I also write it down and I get a little more specific on the notepad right here where specifically when it comes to what videos I'm going to do, I'll write those specific video topics down here. I'll also write down some other things that we might find in a certain section. This is kind of like the overall umbrella and then the more specific stuff I write down. So I schedule and plan my day tomorrow. And this comes in really, really key because this is gonna help you establish your day-to-day -day routine. Now, again, just an example, my routine, you can take this and bend it, shape it, tweak it, and make it your own. But one of the things that helps is when you go into your business time. So for me, I know my business time is 7.30 to noon. Okay, 7.30 to noon. And yes, I'm, I'm sure there's gonna be someone waiting here with bated breath, waiting to say, hey, don't you guys advertise? You can do this in one to two hours a day. And the answer to that is yes. And that is most people will be right here. That's where most people will be. For me, it's a little different because I manage a system. I manage the funnel team system. So there's a lot of back-end things that I need to do where all this stuff comes into play, okay? All this stuff comes into play. There's other things that come into play. Going live comes into play there where those are things that, you know, we don't necessarily force you guys to do, but if you wanna go do that, you certainly can. It's encouraged, but on average, can you do it in about one to two hours a day? Yes, you can also. What we teach here is, or what I'm doing here is also full length videos, multiple full length videos versus when we teach our funnel team, we're using short form content, much shorter videos, much easier to do in a shorter time frame. okay? So just food for thought because I, there's always someone waiting to, you know, watch us slip up or mess up or whatever it is, but there you go. So my, again, remember my routine is not gonna be your routine. My routine is a little longer because there's more involved. Anyway, this part here, guys, really, really important because when you sit down into your business time, when you have this carved out, we're gonna get into that in a minute, okay? That's right around the corner. We're gonna get into that. I'm gonna share with you what you could start doing to create some of this here. When you plan out what you're gonna do, that way you know when you go to sit down and work your business in your business time, you already know what you're gonna do. So for me, when I sit down here, when I sat down this morning at this desk at 7.30, okay, because it's 9.19 right now, 
Number one, I already have my outline of what I'm going to do, and I already have my topics, my focus topics, and I know exactly what I need to do because, and here's a tip, here's a nugget. If you sit down in your business time and go, okay, what do I need to do? You're toast. It's gone. You already lost your time. So to know what you're going to do ahead of time is going to help you be more effective, more efficient, and more productive. Big nugget right there. Okay. So don't skimp on scheduling and planning ahead. Key component there. Now, and then for me, on average, if I'm done by noontime, I go out and I enjoy the rest of my day. So then I have from noon until whenever I go to bed to get out and spend time with my family, go see friends, go out to eat, do those sort of things. And I have the entire rest of the day to do that. This is how I work my business. Now, again, this is going to be different from how you work your business. So the question is getting in, into the next section of routine, basically part two. This is the first example. What is that going to look like for you? The very first thing that I would do if I were you is I would go over to Google and this is what I started doing. Okay. Remember, okay. Every, everyone's going to be a little bit different. So what I would do is I would go to a uh, printable calendar and you can pick the year if you want to, I would pull up a printable calendar and I would literally print this out. Okay. And if I were you, what I would do is I'll just open this up so we can kind of see it in a bigger format here. What I would do is and I'm just, it just came up as January as an example, but again, only you know your schedule. All right. So what I would start doing is any days that you can't work. And this is, this is just an example, but actually print this out. Like if you have a printer, I would literally print this out. If you don't have a printer, then maybe you can, you know, pull it up on a tablet, maybe on your phone um, and you can draw on it. I know there's certain apps where you can literally draw right on uh, things like that. Like I think uh, Adobe and uh, Zoto, I think it's called either way point here is you know, if you know, like, hey, you're not going to work your business on Sundays. So you go ahead and you cross all your Sundays off, right? Uh, again, I would prefer to, if if possible, you print this all out now. And then you know that, hey, you know, for whatever reason, Wednesdays is chock full between my work and I'm giving you guys, this is just examples. Okay, just examples. But if you know that Wednesdays are busy, uh, I got kids things in the afternoon. I got this, I got that. And Wednesday is just a really busy day. You could cross Wednesdays off if you want to. Again, whatever works best for you. But then, you know, based on maybe your job, based on whatever else it is, whatever else you got going on, kids, family, friends, boyfriend, girlfriend, significant other, whatever, you're going to figure out when are you going to work your business? And then you start putting it on the calendar. So as an example, if you know every Monday, I'm going to work my business and I'll, I'll give you a real life example. Okay. When I was working a job, okay, I figured out, okay, hey, these are the days that I work. These are the days that I have off. Okay. I'm going to work my business most of the time, Monday through Friday, but I also work retail. So I did have a day off during the week. So as an example, Okay, as an example, I could do stuff on Wednesdays or in the middle of the week, but just what I did, again, this is just more examples. I worked my job, came home, we did the family stuff, ate our, ate our dinner, all that other stuff, put our son down to bed. And then after that, so from about on average, about 8.30, 9 o'clock at night until basically I passed out sometimes, uh, 12, 11, sometimes 1 a.m. I did that, okay, during the weekdays, okay? So that was 8.30 p.m., okay, to 1 a.m., and I did that every single day. And sometimes I would squeeze in a little more time on the days off or whatever it was, but I committed to that. I also worked with and negotiated with my family and my wife and saying, hey, I'm committing to this. This is what I'm doing. And this is also a really important key component. And it also might be a little bit of a tough conversation to have with some of you. And I know, cause I've had these conversations with many of you guys over the years about working with loved ones, significant others, family, trying to figure out a working business schedule. And it can be a challenge sometimes, but again, only you can figure this out. Okay. So this is just as an example, 
what I did. So 8.30 p.m. to 1 a.m. is when I worked my business, went to bed, got up, went to work, rinse and repeat, okay? That over time started to help me build and develop routines and also started to help me build my income because I was applying consistency, which is really, really important. Now for you, just as an example, I've seen other people come in and say, hey, I'm getting up earlier and I work my business before I go to work. So Monday through Friday, just as an example, you could be doing the same thing. You could be getting up earlier. And then Monday through Friday, you know, you're working your business 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. And then you start your day. Maybe you work at eight to four, eight to three, eight to five, whatever it is. And then the time after you get out of work is your family time, your personal time, whatever it is. Now, this is also what's important. Again, just as an example, one of the things that I did when I was working a job, I was commuting about an hour to an hour and a half per day in my vehicle to work and then an hour to an hour and a half home from work. It was a very long commute and I dealt with Boston traffic, not very fun. So what I would do instead of listening to news radio, music, whatever it is, instead of doing those things, this is really important. I worked on me, I focused on me and it became very, very helpful. While I was doing that, I was listening to personal development. I turned my, and here's another nugget for you. I turned my vehicle into a library on wheels and it helped me. It really helped me focus and fine tune my mindset to do the things that I should be doing and want to do and need to do in order to build and grow my business. Okay. So what you guys should be doing is start here, start with the calendar figure out when you're going to work your business, commit to it. If you have family, friends, people you live with, share this with them, show them and be like, Hey, this is my dedicated business time. This is, I, I need this. I need your support. I need you to help me with this. Sometimes you got to have those conversations because it's going to help you be more productive. But the only way you're going to get there is to go through this process and have the conversation and commit to it yourself. That's number one. You have to commit to it yourself. Okay. But again, this is what I did in the beginning. All I can do is I can give you the data and I can give you the examples. Once you have the time. Okay. Once you have the time laid out on a calendar and you know, when is your business time, then you can turn around as an example and you can start creating a checklist. You can start creating, you know, when you're going to work your stuff, what you're going to do during that time frame, and be really specific with it. So you can be as efficient as possible. And another nugget for you, if you treat this like a job, it will pay you like a job. If you show up to it every day and you put in the time, you put in the effort, you put in the energy and you do that consistently every single day, this will pay you just like a job will. And over time, this can pay you way better than a job. And I'm sure you've seen some of my other videos and content, you know, this can pay very, very well. Okay. But the only way that's going to happen is if you're organized and you're specific and you're dedicated and you're consistent. Okay. Those are all very basic things, but you just got to go do it. You just got to go do it. Now, last thing I want to talk about is some tips. Okay. And this is very, very helpful. This was very, very helpful for me when I was going through my routine specifically, and I was listening to audios, I was reading books, I was, you know, kind of figuring out like what type of marketer I wanted to be. There's always, always going to be stuff that resonates with you. So as an example, I know doing, you know, countless hundreds of videos, Facebook lives, webinars, and stuff like that. I know that I say certain things and those specific certain things resonate with people. So I hang on to those. I note them. I kind of, you know, keep a little list going. And one of the things that really helped me when I first started 
reading books and listening to personal development audio. So like all of these books over here that you guys can see on the bookshelf behind you, like although they look cool on a bookshelf, I've actually read them. But more importantly, I've read them and I've taken notes. That's the key part right there. That's a big tip and a nugget. So what I want you to think about is I have, this is just an example. I have a notepad saved here on my phone, which is also here on my Mac called book lines. Anytime I'm listening to a personal audio, whether it be an iTunes, Audible, something on YouTube, or I'm reading a book, if I hear a line or a phrase or a sentence that just it just grabs my attention and I have and I go, wow, that was good. Wow, that was powerful. I literally stop the audio or I stop reading the book. I bust out the notepad and I record that right here on the notepad. And I can tell you that, I mean, this is a very lengthy list here. OK, <laughs> I've used almost all of these nuggets in webinars, videos, content, when I'm trying to motivate somebody or a motivated group, group of people, I've used this stuff so many times over the years. And this is the stuff, like I just mentioned to you, this is some of the stuff right here that when I share this with people, they go, wow, I get it. That was impactful because chances are, if something resonates with you, if something is impactful to you, it's going to be impactful to others. So share that. And remember, always, always remember, here's another great tip and another great acronym. And yes, I've shared this probably a hundred plus times over the years. ILT, write this down, make a note. ILT, invest, learn, teach. Invest, learn, teach. Invest, learn, teach. What does that mean? You invest your time, sometimes money, you learn something, and then you turn around and you teach that to other people. Invest, learn, teach. Invest your time, sometimes money, learn something, turn around and teach that to other people. That, my friends, is how you have impact on others. Simple as that. So a couple examples right here, like, you know, just I'm looking at this one and I, I already today, right now, just looking at this, these book lines, I want to go create a piece of content around this sentence right here. Happiness is a choice. So is suffering. I mean, talk about like, <laughs> like talk about punching yourself right in the chest, right? It's just, but these are the little things that when I hear it, I go, wow, that's good. I write it down and make a note and then I use it later. And I share that, I share what I learned with others. That is my friend is how you can have more impact on people. Share what you learn. Yes, it's helping you. Yes, it resonates with you. And yeah, it's going to resonate with other people. So there you have it, my friend, a lot of mindset tips and nuggets and routines that you can apply into your business. These are all things that have helped me. Again, all I try to do is give you guys the things that I've dealt with over the years and things that I've used over the years from experience to help you out. So the best thing that you can do is create a good, solid routine. Remember that 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of your business time, not your entire day, but your business time, 80% is income producing activities. 20% okay, is working on you. That is so critical. And a lot of people skip that. A lot of people you know, they leave that part out and they think that it's not an important component in your business. But I can tell you that 20% is much more important than that 80% because this one reason right here, if you don't do the 20% and you don't do the working on you, at some point that 80% is going to be irrelevant because you're going to find a way to quit. You're going to find a way to give up. You're going to find a way to point the finger at somebody other than yourself. It's truth. And I've seen it way too many times to admit to over the years, but it is the truth, my friend. And that's what I can give you. So hope you got value from this video. If you did comment down below right now, value, obviously, if you made it to this point in the video, 
Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you uh, for watching this. And I hope you truly did get some value. And always, if you are not subscribed, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Also ring the bell and get notified anytime we post new content, which is every single week. Other than that, my friends, have an awesome day and I will see you guys on the next video. Take care.